And just uh, a last word maybe on, on where being in England, sort of where the England team is right now, they look to be going forward pretty well, but slight gap in the 50 over game. Yeah, but I, I think like most things, it, three, to, to dominate three versions of any game at any one time might, might not be easily done. Um, the truth is England have, and, and let's give them credit, for many years put a very, very high priority on, on, on dominating Test cricket and a lot of their planning in the last 15 years has revolved around uh, Test match results. And listen, it's fantastic. I, I think as, as, as somebody who, who played at that level, it's great to see any team not only maintaining standards but hopefully looking to move the bar further north. And, and I think this England team has the capacity to, to, to actually move that bar. They're probably the best team in the world now um, between themselves and I think South Africa who, who, who could probably say that they're, they're not far off. But um, what I would like to see as a neutral um, is, is to see the bar go even further. I, I think South African teams of the past, uh, late 60s, Australian 70s, West Indies and then Australia again, not only did they dominate, but, but they brought that little bit extra that moved the bar and, and I think England probably are the team best poised now to move that bar a little bit more and, and, and I think sport needs that. Nobody wants to, in 20 years time, watching the same sort of levels that we did 20 years ago. We want to see it faster, quicker, stronger, longer, further. And, and I think England now have the button and, and I would say probably the responsibility. They, they, they have everything in their favour to move that bar and hopefully it happens.